Hey, Sean, thanks for sending your video. This is Mike, thanks for sending it on over. I, I just sent you an email with uh, four pre-swing fundamentals that I'd like for you to watch. Uh, it's on my YouTube channel. You may have already seen it or your dad may have already seen it. So I'd love for you to just take a look at that. And um, you know, the first thing we wanna do is be really, really solid on, on pre-swing fundamentals, okay? And um, for this video, this is gonna be kind of particular. So uh, I don't want to come off like I'm nitpicking at all, but you know this might help out quite a little bit once you get used to it. So first thing is grip. Okay, so on the right hand side, that's actually a video of Rory McIlroy from a little while ago, and it's a little blurry. But we can still see what we want to see, and I like to use it because the camera angle is so good. Um, by the way, in the future, if you could notice how like. The camera on Rory, it, the, the, the person holding the camera is actually positioned dead in front of him so that you get a true face-on view to him. Uh, whereas it looks like the camera angle on, on, on your setup is the camera maybe a little bit forward of the ball looking back at you a little bit. So maybe if you can have your dad try to really square up to you with the phone when he uh, gets the next one. All right, and then the other thing is, uh, I'd love to see a down the line. Down the line looks like this. So on the right hand side, this is a down the line view. And on this one, the camera is positioned right about there, low, right on the player's hands, okay? And so when he takes the club back, if he takes it back parallel to the ground, when the club is parallel to the ground, hopefully it's parallel to the target line and see how the club head is kind of blocking the shaft there. So he's got a pretty good uh, swing plane there and the camera is also in the right position, all right? so. Um, Try to have that camera right on the hands and looking straight at the target line from there. So, so we do not want the camera out here on the ball. We do not want the camera over here on you. We want the camera right there. And we want that camera lens 90 degrees relative to the target, okay? So let's go back to that Rory map. Okay, here we go. So with the grip, I want you to notice on Rory's right hand, the palm of his right hand is basically pointing right down here, the same angle as the club face. So it's literally pointing on a line parallel to the target line. You'll notice that your right hand is just rotated a little bit underneath the club. I like how your left hand is right there. So your left hand's rotated a little bit so that your palm is facing down at you. And the problem is your right hand is basically mirroring your left. So we want you to try to take that right hand and rotate it a little bit more towards the target. So right now it's pointing slightly at the sky. So when you look at your right hand, you're gonna rotate it a little bit counterclockwise. And you wanna rotate it counterclockwise until this little V between your thumb and your forefinger. We want it pointing just, just a little bit in between your chin and your shoulder, okay? And you've got your V pointing back here too much all the way to the shoulder. All right, the video that I referenced in that email will explain that as well, okay? Now let me show you why that's important. Watch Rory in his backswing. Notice how his wrists are hinging. So you can see the lever of the club and his arms, they're getting that, well, this is 85 degrees, but about a 90 degree angle there. And the way you're gripping it makes it a little bit harder for you to be able to hinge your wrists the same way. So see, when your club is, when your arm is about parallel to the ground, we're not hinging the club quite enough, okay? So that's just one thing. You wanna try to get uh, that fundamentally sound grip to start to become something that really feels habitual to you. So that would be the number one thing would be that grip. Uh, I also sent you in that, in that uh, video, it talks about at setup, you'll notice how Rory's got a little bit of a tilt to his spine there, right? So we wanna make sure we've got a little bit of a tilt. I think you do have a little bit of a tilt there, okay? Uh, the other thing that he's gonna talk about in that video is going to be alignment and posture from down the target line view. So you'll see that as well, okay? So now, let's watch one more thing here that we're gonna talk about. Take a look at Rory's right hip, okay? And take a look at the angle overall of his spine here. So watching his backswing, you're gonna see he's gonna turn his shoulders and because he's got that, that tilt to begin with his spine, and he just, kind of, he just kind of stays in that tilt with his upper body, 
we call this a pivot, his backswing. And notice how he still maintained, like his back is kind of tilted the same way that his spine started off. When you go to take your club back, you do a nice job of athletically shifting weight into your back foot. And I don't think you're going to let the hip slide back. Well, not too much. But what's happening is you're starting to get a little bit of your, the hip is sliding back and the spine is starting to kind of tilt the, the opposite way of how we want it there. It's a slight reverse pivot. And what's going to happen from there is when you go to make your downswing, it's going to be um, tough for you to be able to hit the ball solid and you're probably gonna hit some inconsistent shots with your club face. You can see what's gonna to have to happen is you're gonna to have to get your lower body working more actively towards the target to regain your spine tilt at impact. So see at impact, you're at all these things, right? At impact, you're still gonna get that spine tilt back, right? Just like Rory is going to. The difference is, is that he doesn't have his spine kind of going back and forth this way, right? His overall, his body stays in that orientation and it helps everything match up better, all right? So number one priority is going to be the pre-swing fundamentals and starting with the grip. Once you feel like you're able to do that and, and check yourself on video or look in the mirror, you're not gonna probably your first swing nail that. It's gonna take a, it's gonna take a few hours of practice to really nail that grip. Once you get the grip down, then you can start working on that pivot. Uh, on the tail end of this video, I will attach uh, the pivot video, which is a reminder how to work on the pivot as well to be a little bit more specific. All right. So, any questions? Feel free to contact me. Um, your dad's got my email address. And then the other thing I did was I did send him a link to the V1 app, so you can just use your phone to record these videos with V1 and send them to me that way, and that way uh, the communication back and forth is just a lot easier, all right? Or you can keep emailing them, that's fine too. Any questions, just let me know. Thanks, Sean.